Good evening, dear students and viewers of Deped R. Tenetruan Season 10, Module 1. I am Catherine Cruz from Marciana del Rosario Memorial National High School, your teacher presenter for this episode. Our topic is simple past tense. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to first form simple past tense using regular verbs. Second, use past tense in sentence to see what happened in the past. Before we discuss our topic for this evening, let us first have a review about present tense. So what is simple present tense? Very good! As we know, the simple present tense is one of several forms of present tense in English. It is used to describe habits, unchanging situations, general truths, and fixed arrangements. From the word itself, the simple present tense is very simple to form because you just have to use the base form of the verb. Example, he drinks tea at breakfast. Second example, they watch television regularly. So now that we are done with simple present tense, let's proceed with simple past tense. As we start, let us try this very simple activity which is now being flashed on your screen. Give us the direction. Complete the given sentence test by putting the correct words in the blank. Please take note that the jumble words opposite to the given sentence test serve as clue for your answer, and number one is done for you. Number one, Bina blank the piano. The answer is plain. Number two, Gassy blank how to read. Number three, Jolie blank me last night. Number four, Kevin blank his father on his birthday. And number five, Lenden blank the balloon. Okay, let us check how you answer this activity. So here are the answers. Number one, played. Number two, learned. Three, Texted. Four, surprise. In five, pop. So how many scores did you get? Very good. Based from the answers that we had, what do you think is common among them? Very good. They all end with ED. Do you want to know why? Because they are all regular verbs in their simple past tense. So what is simple past tense? Simple past tense. The simple past tense is used to talk about a completed action in a time before now. The time of the action can be in the recent past or the distant past and action duration is not important. Take note that you always use the simple past when something happens, so it is associated with certain past time expressions. Examples I sometimes walk home at lunchtime. The word sometimes indicates the frequency of the action. Second example, she finished her work at 7 o'clock. The phrase at 7 o'clock expresses a definite point in time. Number three, people lived in caves a long time ago. A long time ago indicates the indefinite point in time. Here are some words that tell us something happened in the past. Yesterday. Last night, last week, last month, last year, already, and earlier. Now that we know when to use simple past tense, let us now proceed with how regular verbs in the past tense is being formed. Please take note that when you want to explain what we did in the past, we use the ending ed in our action verb, but not as simple as that. In this lesson, you have to remember three things. First, not all verbs use ed to form their past tense. Second, we know we can change a regular verb into the past tense by adding ed, such as play turned into played, work turned into work, kick turned into kick. But if the verb ends with the letter e, only add a d to make the sentence past tense, such as dance. Turned into dance, like turned into like, bounce turned into bounce. So let us see what happened to the verbs 
when they become fastened by another set of examples flash on your screen. So from the present tense, we learn how to read. We will change it into past tense. It could become Last week, we learned how to read. Take note of the additional past time expression last week that indicates past action. Next is, I play the flute. The letters E and D were added to play to signify simple past tense. Now that we have learned about simple past tense, we will be having a simple activity later to check our understanding about the topic. For the meantime, let's pause for some reminders from our station.